So let's talk about modern war and genocide in this in this context. I don't think that most countries have the balls to just straight up go to war with another nation. Instead, I think that they will use far more stealthier means of destruction. Similarly, if a, a group or an organization of people, you know, a race of people, etc., wanted to destroy certain groups, cultures, races, there's definitely a subtle way to do it, which I believe is what we are seeing the the pinnacle of the zenith point of. The whole thing of, you know, the mass immigration, the work culture, the LGBT, uh, social justice, etc. All of these things which are a complete, um, very much like a leftist plague upon the West. Now, you've got to understand that once you go out of the West, this stuff doesn't exist. Uh, that is not real, you know, it's not, well, I mean, it's not in other countries. It's really only in the West, I've noticed. I've noticed that if you want to understand the kind of normies of the country, you, you look at mainstream media and news, you know, TVs, movies, uh, what's on the radio, the news, etc. <clears throat> in the West, at least. At least from when I've seen, because um, I looked at some things from the 90s, for example, in uh, at least my country, Australia, which has always kind of been a fairly left, left-leaning left country, but even in the 90s, they were very left-leaning. I think probably the 60s was the last time that we had any kind of uh, rightness to the, the West, I would imagine. So essentially, most Western countries their base level is a left leaning um, and then you go to places like Twitter and on the internet and it's and it's very alt left around there so you know it's very extreme views like pronouns in the bio um, having more than two genders you know transsexuality all this all this different kind of sexuality etc <clears throat> these things are much more of an alt left um, thing that I think so if you go outside of the West, you'll notice that most of the countries, or outside of, um, say, I'm not quite sure for Europe. I think Europe has been co-opted and controlled. Basically, what I'm trying to say is traditionally white countries. That's what we're talking about. If you leave traditionally white countries, you will notice that they are quite um, right-leaning. And the white countries were right-leaning you know, 50, 100 years ago. This is only a very new thing, at least from what I've understood. If you go, for example, to the desert, to Saudi Arabia, um, or Egypt, or somewhere else, they are very right-leaning. If you go to Africa, Africa is very right-leaning. Um, if you go to Asia, Asia is still fairly traditional and right-leaning. Uh, one of the reasons why I still like, you know, for example, anime, um, I actually watch, I, I don't watch a lot of anime, but I like to read manga, especially Chinese manga. It's just got Chinese storytelling. It's just very, um, it's very, very kind of refined in a way. It's very, it's like a video game <laughs> where it's very systematized and everything. It's quite interesting. You'll have to, you'll have to read like a Chinese um, Wuxia story or something to understand what I mean. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that these countries, you know, Korea, well, Korea is a bit, a bit, you know, paused, so to speak. If you know what that term means, it's a terrible term. <laughs> um, they're a bit, what would I say, psyoped, co-opted, whatever, manipulated by um, this modern darkness. But uh, at least China and, and Japan are mostly fine. Uh, so you'll notice that with other countries' media, movies, you know, music, etc., it's not woke. It's not um, you know manipulated by this this kind of darkness, which is the alt left. The alt left is the extreme darkness, the extreme negativity. While alt right is extreme light. It's extreme. Um, rightness, extreme correctness, extreme, you know, train your body to absolute perfection, 
fulfill your duty to your race and your country. And these are good things. <clears throat> um, of course, not everyone's going to take them up. And but anyway, going on. Uh, that's that's just one context. Of course, you know you could we could debate the meanings of these things, but I won't bother. I'll just use for, for what I'm what I'm saying. Alt left and right or left and right is more leaning you know, right leaning towards traditionalism family uh, small business small government then alt right is pretty much no government or complete family rule you know like chinese clans is what they would have um or nash well debatable you know debatable what kind of nationalism whether it's you know right or left is there are things and then left would just be like complete government control um, no power for the individual you know <clears throat> no family it's just like a polygamous sex cult kind of um, thing where you you, you, just, you just give essentially your fertility to the to the government and they would make babies and just generate humans from a spawning room it's it's a bit a bit fucked up <laughs> uh, I saw this Chinese 3d anime a while I wish I could remember the one it's it's very cool it's a sci-fi one where people get called in to have children and um, one of the problems was that these two people um, who kind of they didn't they they're kind of I mean they're higher up in the society but they're starting to see its folks and all that. they love each other so it's like they don't want to have to you know they want to have their own children they don't want to have whoever's you know children um, just randomly be inseminated and all that but Anyway, a little side tangent. That's basically a hyper leftist <clears throat> society. Um, it's what we're seeing with all the people and you're getting vax passports and etc. But going back on, um, for probably the last since about the, the 60s, probably it could be even longer. Um, the white Western and European races have started to. Um, there's there's a dark force upon them. A certain, how could you say, maybe potentially a, a, a race which within them, though they are not dark in skin, they are dark in soul and they are manipulating and <clears throat> causing quite a little bit of problems. And it's it's possible it's possible that this is some kind of war, or this is some kind of destruction, or it could even just be parasitism. You know, a parasite gets into the body of um, its host, and then it starts to suck it dry, and then it cries and complains when its host dies. It could be something like that, and that's what I've that's what I'm seeing. The West is succumbing to this, and the West is like a sick, diseased wolf. Um, it's going to. It's starting to lose its friends, you know, because it's so weak and sick, and it just has. It's got so many parasites on it, and um, all the parasites are the things like, as I mentioned, the alt left stuff, the LGBT, the um, the the um, you know, pitting whites against blacks with you know, critical race theory and all this kind of stuff, pitting all the races against each other. Um, you know, white people have been have been set up. Because since we're living in a dark era, we're, we're working through the dark ages right now, astrologically um, and societally. That's why white people who represent the light, you know, the, the white element, the young, the you know, yin yang, the young element. Um, <clears throat> this why archetypally, you know, metaphysically, there's so much force against them. Now here's the interesting part is that <clears throat> if you think this ends with white people then you know, that is not true once the the dark force has chomped and eaten white people if it does you know if they they let them then it will go to the next which i believe is asian folk um and also the spanish kind of you know south american mexican argentina etc these folk and then it will go to the middle eastern um <clears throat> people the more southeast asian you know the dark because it's slowly it's it's a corrupting this force is a corrupting force that corrupts so it starts with anyone who's a little bit leftist who's a little bit too open-minded who says oh well you know maybe it's okay for um you know 
two people of the same gender to marry. You know, maybe it's well, you know, traditionally marriage is, is a union for to set up a family to you know there's a lot more stuff involved than just you know love you know um, etc and then, and then it goes to like oh, okay well, well maybe you know maybe we have to give extra welfare money to black people or or something because you know they were slaves implying that white people weren't slaves you know I come from Irish people who were slaves um, as well <clears throat> through you know a lot of their life so there's a lot more going on there, you know, and then it, then it kind of goes to like, okay, well maybe people should be able to chop their you know penis or boobs off, and you know maybe uh, you can have a beard and still be a woman, and it's like all this. Then it's like, oh well, maybe you know we should um, give up humanity and become a this or a that. It's like it's slowly this force, this corrupting force, that's what it is. It's a very, um, I don't believe in entropy the same way that it's taught. I think things can rebirth and can, you know, refix themselves. But this is a very entropic force, this darkness, um, and it's perpetuated by a, ra a race who represents this darkness, you know. Things like very evil pornographies, um, you know, things that look rape and cheating all this like nasty stuff and your know, bad movies that 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 teach you know that try to to ruin the idea of a family or try to weaken men as their position and and try to um, manipulate women into <coughs> excuse me making them do things which they shouldn't and living you know, unvirtuous lives and all this stuff and then and then trying to you know weaken people with through food and through chemicals etc this this is this force of darkness um perpetuated by a race of darkness by companies of darkness by countries and cultures of darkness by people of darkness all this kind of i don't mean black people or anything um because you know um don't you know? Don't take it as that. This, uh, this, don't, not at all. Um, of course, black people have their own troubles to deal with. But you know, this is this can show up in any race. Of course, there is a specific type of people that relate to this more. But this can show up in any race. There can be good and bad people of any country and culture, etc. <clears throat> but essentially, this corrupts people. The most leftist people it corrupts first you know it says oh no 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 you shouldn't work you should give into socialism yes yeah, good or communism yes other people should work for you well realistically you know if we had communism you'd be in a slave camp uh, working your guts out you know that's a, that's a joke and you wouldn't get any money from it then it slowly corrupts the more writer leaning. Once it's gained force then it'll try to corrupt the writer leans. As we're kind of seeing with modern Republican parties, at least in my country, the modern, um, we call it the, the Liberal Party, which is the right wing. They <clears throat> they basically turned into, into socialist corporate welfare. Um, it's, it's disgusting. You know, they're completely for this New World Order bullshit um, control and all that. While the other party, the Labour Party, which is unions, it's, it's communism it's a communist party essentially which is a big one and then we have a worse an alt left worse communist um, so you can see how this is this force has just corrupted at least my country it's cor trying to corrupt America America's still got a very um, you know, because you guys didn't give up your guns you've still got quite a strong and you've got your men your first amendment you know, your second and third etc it's very strong there but it will try to eat up um, you know, those the white cultures because currently the white we are not in the light age, we're in the dark age. Once we hit the light age, it will start to eat the dark cultures, it will start to eat these people. Now, the joke is, and the, the interesting thing is that it won't be the darkness eating the light, it will be the light eating the darkness because this dark force only grows for the dark age or I mean, of course it grows in the light age it tries to but the, just say the person who, who the woman who cut off their boobs and grew a beard i saw that dr phil if you haven't look, look up the dr phil and that that guy from daily wire it's very interesting he just destroys transgenderism he just, just, just destroys it 
Um, I think also the Lotus Eaters, you know, Carl did a <coughs> section on it. <coughs> Excuse me, but there's a a woman. You can see these two women. Women, I think they're Spanish or something. They have beards. They're trying to dress like men. I imagine they they couldn't find a husband or whatever, and they tried to become each other's husband. That's my my you know, hypothesis. They you know got their boobs cut off, and you can see they got these tiny little hands. But they got because of all the testosterone they're taking, they're kind of they developing like a more masculine um, body. And what will happen when the the sun rises, when the light starts to come back to the world, the pendulum swings they will realize what they have done because the light is consciousness this dark force lives in unconsciousness it lives in you neglecting your children you neglecting yourself your health you thinking oh no everything will be okay even though you live in you know like a complete shithole you think oh no i don't have to study i don't have to exercise i don't have to save money i don't have to you know protect myself or learn you know martial arts or i can just do nothing and everything will be okay and the people who live in that dark reality sometimes it can be for them because they are of the darkness but if you're of the light you have to do some fucking work I'll put it that way <clears throat> so the light of consciousness will return and these people will realize that they have chopped their tits off that they have chopped their dicks off that their children hate them now and will never love them again that their children have been indoctrinated that that you know maybe you're a black person you hate white people and you think man what have I done you know these white people have done nothing to me um, or you're a white person who hates black people you know um, or you are you know something like this you've done maybe it's like when you have a psychedelic trip and you realize or deep meditation when you realize wow I fucked that person over. I did this bad thing wow that's so cringy, you know, that's so awkward, that's so, and you're just in horrible pain for the, the, the sins you've committed, essentially, you're in that bad trip, that's what will happen, we will enter a bad trip, if you think this is a bad trip, no, we're going through the nice part, but the bad trip won't be bad for you, or me, we will be going through the best time of our lives in the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years, we will be going, we will be you know, rich, have a great family, a great abundance of the earth, you know, fruits, vegetables, and you know, animals, minerals, you know, great experiences, great communities, because we're putting in the work now. But these people who've chopped their parts of their bodies off, these people who've, <clears throat> you know, contracted diseases and ruined their bowels through, you know, bad sexual practices, um, people who have, you know, completely isolated themselves because of, of some imaginary racism or who've built their money out of pretending to be socialists and communists and who have built fans and followers eventually people are going to wake up and they already are they everyone the light of consciousness will return and people will realize and then it will be the light that dish that eats away the darkness and the light will be overly strong the same way the darkness has been overly strong and it will burn it will roast any little bit of darkness to a point where it is uncomfortable because we hit a peak of both errors um the, the when i talked about the alt-right you know there are some good qualities of alt-right and there are some times where it's not so good um excessive restriction excessive um well certain different kinds of restriction actually excessive uh self-reliance sometimes it can be a bad thing if you're not ready for that um it's the same way excessive rules can be you know sometimes bad excessive amounts of responsibility excessive amounts of consciousness if you're not ready to handle this it can be bad so you know you have to of course train and prepare but anyway I hope you enjoyed this um, the main point is that you know, if you haven't realized that essentially the white European and Westerns are being essentially they're getting genocided through many different things well now you probably can look that up now you can realize it's being kept 
uh, you know, all the statistics, all the information is being kept. No one wants to admit it. There's a whole lot more that we could go into with, you know, immigration and work and um, birth rates and all that. But I will leave that for another video or to research on your own. Essentially, I more talk about the metaphysical side, which I think I gave you a bit of a breakdown. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And of course, check the links in the description and have a nice day.